Qualcomm Saptx and Aptx HD codecs now part of Android Open Source Project. One of the biggest issues with TWS and any other kind of wireless headphones for that matter, is limited support for various audio codecs, where many rely on a not-so-great SBC codec or AAC, simply because these are two codes that are supported by most of the devices that the headphones would be connected to. When it comes to smartphones, Qualcomm is by far the biggest chipset provider and as it happens, Qualcomm is also the owner of the various Aptx audio codecs that many headphones support. Up until very recently, the phone makers had to pay a royalty fee to include support for the Aptx codecs even if they used Qualcomm's chips in their phones and thus some companies, Samsung for example, decided not to include support for Aptx. Now it has come to light that just like Sony with its LDAC codec, Qualcomm has decided to add support for Aptx to the Android Open Source Project, OSP, which means all Android devices can support Aptx as well as Aptx HD without paying any royalty fees. However, more advanced versions of Aptx, such as Aptx Adaptive and the rarely used low latency version of Aptx are not included. That said, headphone makers will still have to pay a royalty fee to Qualcomm although there doesn't appear to be any headphones on the market that support Aptx that aren't based on a Qualcomm or one of the older CSR chipsets from the time before Qualcomm acquired them. On the other hand, Sony's LDAC codec is used by a wide range of headphones, of which none rely on a Sony chipset. Regardless, this should be good news for consumers, who will be the ones reaping the benefits from this change in the long term.